So guys, right now, I got a QG school. Okay, I'm gonna be meeting with one of their representatives. I'm a bit nervous actually. It's like first time I jump the refugees, the kids. So yeah. So this is the place look like. What's your name? What's your name? Hassan? Ah. How old are you? Five. Five years old? Hello. Hi. Yeah. You're Mel, right? Welcome to Fuji School. For the children. What? You look familiar. <laughs> Do you recognize me? Yeah, I think I've seen you somewhere. Debra? Henry? Yes. Yeah. Wow. How did you how did what? you find us? How did you discover Actually, us? Actually from Instagram though. And some of my friends, they yeah. were like talking about this school. So yeah. I was like, oh I'm interested to check it out. Cool. Yeah, I didn't you. expect you were you're gonna be here today. Not every day, but I'm here some days. Yeah. Ah. So but thank you for coming. We've got, as you can hear, lots of noise. Children are yeah, yeah, in, yeah. in the house. We start school in about half an hour, so yeah. So I wouldn't interrupt that? No, like we that? can stick our heads in and say hello. Okay. <laughs> hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah. So we have two, uh, we have two floors uh -huh. in the school. Right. And this is our second, uh, first floor. First floor, um, right. These are the classes here in the back room, so they're all getting ready for the afternoon session. Oh, okay. So it's a very, it's a very full school, like in a day. Yeah, yeah, we have, yeah <laughs> it's two floors, very small, uh -huh. and in like one day we have over 160 kids who come in, who come through the doors, kids. yeah, wow. to get an education. Wow. Yeah. Should we check uh, out upstairs? Yeah, 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 sure, 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 sure. Paint everything themselves, I think? Yeah, so oh. I, I love this. This is like our tree of, our tree of wisdom. Oh, um, all right. It was actually painted in collaboration with a, a Syrian refugee. He okay. was not a student here, but he's an artist and a volunteer. Oh, and so we right. painted this with our students. And they chose words that meant something to them. So knowledge, peace, strength, ah. friendship, love, all the things that the world needs a little bit more of. And this is our second floor. Oh, okay. Some of the students getting ready for the class at 2.30. Oh, right. Um, yeah. Hi. Hello. Are you, are you guys studying very hard? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We don't find them, they find us. Ah. Yeah. So we set up here about nine years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, the reason we actually opened the school is because um, we started t giving tuition to uh, one family. And soon after that, all the other families in the community heard about us. And they came to us and said, hey, we want our kids to come to school too. Can you teach our children too? So the community wanted it. Yeah, and together with the community, we decided that like, uh, hey, let's start a school mm -hmm. and a school that's also run by the community for the community and uh, and that's how it started You know the students come from many many countries from mm -hmm. Somalia, Syria, Yemen, Nigeria, mm -hmm. Palestine, mm -hmm. Pakistan um, And we accept any child, any you child. Know, yeah. refugee or yeah. a stateless child. To me, it's I've always I've always looked at it mm -hmm. in a perhaps and foolishly mm -hmm. in a more simplistic way where mm -hmm. every child has mm -hmm. the right to go to school and yeah. and it's and I asked the question shouldn't all children be in school and my answer is yes because Despite they are our, status, yeah, class. Yeah, exactly. yeah. and and they are our collective future yeah. if we're not going to educate this generation mm -hmm. when we get older and they're the ones who need to take care of us what kind of world are they going to uh, take care of yep. you know and, and will they even take care of us yeah you know so right. we it is our in our best interest to ensure that this generation of, of children are educated are conscious citizens of the world yep. they care about the world they care about the right things and the second point I always bring up is that you or me we mm -hmm. could be refugees tomorrow yeah, yeah, yeah. anyone can be a refugee it's yeah, not like if you're poor if you're uneducated yep, if yep. you're from a certain country anyone in any country you know it's a, it's a very in Malaysia the problem is not a huge problem it's not mm -hmm. something that's impossible to solve yep. we need to just be willing willing yeah. to come up with solutions um, and I think we can achieve that I, I think we have the resources we have technology of we have course. innovation we just need, you know, people, you and I, yeah, other people heart. with a good heart <laughs> to good care heart, yeah. enough to say, hey, let's let's get these kids in school. Let's make a let's find a way to get these kids educated. Yeah. How 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 do you get that conscious consciousness of like, okay, one day I'm gonna open a school? Like, well, it was how, never. Like, why? It was never one day. Like, when I'm 20, I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah I know, I know, but like, it was know, like. It's <laughs> always like you know, like a moment. A moment, like <laughs> I'm gonna do this. 
it how, was. How, how does it happen? So I've always been I've always been very interested in, in social work, uh -huh. development, in okay. poverty. I've always cared about these issues. To me, I remember uh -huh. when I was like 16 years old, I, I used to talk to my granddad. Uh -huh. I would sit on the swing in my house and okay. talk to my granddad and like, you know, why does this world have so much greed and injustice? <laughs> like I was one of those, you know, like a little ah, bit okay. idealistic. Yeah. And uh, let me change that or whatever. Oh, okay, I studied when I went to university. I studied mm -hmm. political science. I was so I studied. I came. I think for me, my mo the moment for me was when I graduated. I really felt this is something I want to do. And so when I came back, I really felt I need to do something. This is this is my interest. This is mm. what gets me excited. Ah. You know. But then I joined Miss Malaysia. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Okay. Yeah. And but you know what? Life is a life is a funny way of. It is. Of, teaching us lessons yeah. and taking us from A to B but mm -hmm. we think A to B is like one straight line sometimes mm -hmm. we go to here, yeah, here yeah, 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 we yeah. visit C, D, E, F, G, H and then we come back then come, yeah. Yeah. so for me it was joining Miss Malaysia it was I won the crown mm -hmm. and then I worked with World Vision which is an international uh, humanitarian organization mm -hmm. I traveled the world with them I visited their projects I learned a lot mm -hmm. and then eventually I set up my own it's so interesting like one would think beauty queen and then you oh you're just about world peace and you know you're just like, <laughs> like superficial like you know oh, like that okay. not at all yeah, yeah, it yeah. was you know it was very much uh, every it's like the pieces of the puzzle just mm -hmm. came together very well um, and it gave me a very good platform to talk mm -hmm. about things that are important to me I think it was about two years a year after winning in 2007 mm -hmm. I visited a refugee family and I saw this family and I felt so sad when I left their home I it was this, I remember when I left the house and I told myself I cannot walk away from this and not do anything I can give them 50 bucks but what's that gonna do yeah you know I need to do more